Hey everybody, Saba Jade here. Today we're doing quid pro quo. So the first thing we have to do is speak with the Prince of Frost. He's not happy today. He wants us to do some things for him. So we will the do it. Prince them. of Frost chuckles, but his eyes remain cold and hard as they bore down at you. You come asking for favors when you impose on me by your very presence? Not many would dare to overstep so. So cavalier. But as I feel numb with tedium, I will allow it. You will perform the three tasks I have said for you. Only then will I consider your request. The Prince of Frost waves his hand and a trio of portals open nearby. Go, and be quick about it. Each second you stand here is a second of my patience being siphoned away. Okay. You've arrived at Rhyme's Refrain, one of the Prince of Frost's favorite venues. He demands that you remove the griffins that seem to have made their home inside the amphitheater. A number of griffins are perched throughout the amphitheater. They look at you apprehensively, but make no move to attack. Hello, dude. Alright, the griffin matriarch rests within a nest, mostly ignoring you. Inspecting your body, you find a large number of injuries, barbed arrows, traces of poison, and jagged dagger wounds. Heal, spot, spellcraft. I would imagine spot's my best one, but let me look. Uh, spot is 37, heal 14, spellcraft 5. So let's do spot. You skillfully tend to the griffins' wounds. In time, the griffins will be able to return to their usual lairs. The amphitheater can now return to regular use. That takes care of one favor for the Prince of Frost. The tramp of approaching boots echoes through the amphitheater. Then a vicious voice calls out. The ones who bring me the matriarch's head gets an extra share of gold! The hunters have caught up to the injured matriarch, but she is in no condition to fly. Oh no, I should have defeated the hunters. Where are they? Here they are. Barbaric brutes. All right, we're done here. Oops, I think I went the wrong way. It's over here. Alright, let's go this way to the captive village. An injured guard calls out to you. You there! You, you have the look of an adventurer. The villagers have been captured and dragged off by those brutish Fomorians. I'm in no shape to do anything about it. Rescue them, please. I beg of you. Alright, we're gonna rescue some villagers. You 
keep hearing arguments between the Fomorians. Perhaps there's some way to take advantage of this strike? All right, you guys stay here for a minute. Bluff, Intimidate, Diplomacy. My bluff is 10. <coughs> I don't think this is going to work. Diplomacy is 8. Let's try Bluff. Do I have anything that will make my bluff better? Not my ring of water breathing. Ooh, hang on. Sing to me, bard. Don't I have one of those, um... Things? No. It doesn't appear so. <sighs> Did that even help with my bluff? No. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, hang on. Can any of these help? That will make my dex better, constitution better, strength better. No, not gonna help. Let's just try them. Oh, Lurf gives a loud yell and attacks. In the distance, you can hear crew running to assist. I'm just gonna try and kill him before his brother really gets here. There we go. Obviously. Oh, no. No, get up. Get up before he can stare at you. Well, that was good. Now we can, at our leisure, save all these people. I can't. Oh no, I can't save anybody. <laughs> uh, do I have anybody that can save anybody? Teal? Has rogue haste boost. What are you, Teal? Rogue 2, but he can't actually open it. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Now oh, I'm sad I can't save all you people. How come my UMD would be that bad? My open lock is 12. 13 and a half UMD. All right, let's go to the wiki and see what it says we need. UMD, you need a 29. Holy moly. 
I can just keep trying open lock. Oh, I'll just keep using up my... No. It's not using my locks. I don't get it. Let's try a different villager. This could take a while. Nine is a failure. Eleven is a failure. Okay, sorry, Teal. Success on twenty. a failure. I wonder if I have anything in my backpack. Do, 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 do. Nothing. Alright, I'm gonna have to start carrying stuff. At least I don't kill them. Deal. If you can open locks, you could try it. How many more villages are there? see anyone. Oh, we're leaving. Alright, one more portal to go through. This one over here. We need to recover. Oh, I didn't... I'm supposed to liberate the village. Jeez Louise. We have to go back through the other portal. Because I didn't liberate the village. No, these guys were here. I thought killing the Fomorians did it, you know? Maybe that's a potion of heroism that I can drink. The Fomorians have been defeated, and the 
village is now safe. Ah, shield of faith. I think the Fomorians were defeated before that. And five more villages. Oh, I don't have to roll for these. Awesome. Do you see more? Here we go. You're safe. Get out of here. Pushing with this. Oh, serious repair. All right, now on to this one. You hey, find dude. yourself inside the base held by the rebel bandits. The Prince of Frost wants you to retrieve a wine chalice that they stole. I'm looking for a fancy wine chalice. He's seen it. Boss keeps it in a room, says it's her ticket to the high lane. Get the patrolling sentries to wake everyone up. It may be possible to sneak past the sentries and through the sleeping bandits without needing to fight. Well, what fun would that be? Um, oh, rune on the wall. Chess. I don't think they woke anybody up. So we are looking for a chalice. Hey dudes. a chalice. He uses brothers. a whole bunch of wine bottles, but I guess the chalice would really stick out.
I see no chance. I see no heals incoming either. See a room on the wall. This looks fishy. Nothing in here. There are a lot of rooms down here. For the heels. Jeez. I'm gonna get these guys first. They hurt. Use a heel. Uh. 
is a bow. Anything in here? Mushrooms. Okay. Alright, did that open anything up? Yes, this. Oh, look, bubbles. There's the chalice. The journal. Take the chalice. This is the missing wine chalice that the Prince of Frost requested. Now that you've oh. done these three favors for the Prince of Frost, perhaps he'll return one. Speak the phrase well aloud in the east by north. You learn that the bandit captain has a private stash of treasure hidden somewhere in the caverns. It would certainly be a shame if it were to be left behind. East by northeast. That would be here. Um. I don't remember what ones we had. Um, embrace. What was the first word? I don't know. Was it valuable? Say valuable. It was a V word, right? Embrace was the second one. That was the word. Okay. I have to find my way out of here. Oh, that's not it. That's a room. This is it. Wait a minute. Where's the sommelier? He's a drunken rebel. Where's the sommelier? Oh, was he standing next to the... Hmm. 
Oh, he was. Hey, we're gonna get a chest. With nothing in it. It may contain end loot. Alright, so in here, um, medium armor, snow scale, ring of winter chill, that's for a caster, the belt that I'm wearing, and a tower shield, so no point in me rolling. Cool, extra chest. So once again, even the scales. The Prince of Frost agrees to lend you his powers in reaching Hearsome's fortress. And there's the you can now tower shield with the final part of your about. plan, trading Hearsome's needle for the Codex pages. Alrighty, so that is it for quid pro quo, and um, that was quite a long quest. I guess it could have gone faster, but we did some optionals. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.